Awesome. Thank you to be here. Um, so my name is Paul from 10X. I originally from Thailand, Bangkok, but I used to live here in Japan for about four years. So it's really good to be back here again. So let me get into this. Um, I think a lot of you heard about ICO before, and it's quite a big thing last year. So I think one of the reasons I'm here today is because um, last year we did quite um, an ICO one, that one of the, the big one. But then I think this is a really small part of what I want to share with you today because I think today we have a lot of entrepreneurs, we have a lot of people who build a company here. And I think what more important is actually to to share with you what actually happened behind the scene and why we do what we do and what actually what we learn about doing all this from building a company, building a product, until what we did with the ICO. Um, let me start with this. So I think this is one of the really inspiring quote to me. World Economic Forum said that probably about in nine years from now, 10% of world GDP would be stored and transacts on, on blockchain. And I think that's really inspiring and I think this really means a lot for this industry that, that we're in. That you mean 10% um, is probably around seven, eight trillion, but if you fast forward another nine years, 10 years, you probably, I don't know, end up with 10, 15 mil, trillion dollars. It would be on blockchain. And that is something really, really interesting because all the, all the wealth and all the transaction would, would move there. And what is really needed to speed this up? We want to speed this up. And I think the way you can do it is actually have a lot of people on the street. It has to start from the ground up. So what we did is we just have to have a lot of people using it, start using cryptocurrency, start experiencing it and see how, how actually it is. So um, we start with our first product, um, bringing uh, cryptocurrency to the debit card. So the reason we're doing that is because we, we want a lot more uh, store or merchant to accept cryptocurrency, but we've been going around and ask merchant to accept it. But you know, it's, it's quite time consuming and, and energy consuming too. So we found the best way to actually use something that people already know how to use, which is the card. I mean, I, I guess a lot of we here, or maybe 100%, we already have a card and know how to use it. And on the other way around, you don't have to convince the merchant to actually accept cryptocurrency or set up new machine or anything. They already know how to do this because they already accept credit card, right? And the goal is actually really try to bring cryptocurrency to to everyone and I think that's really gonna speed things up for adoption of blockchain or cryptocurrencies. The idea is if I travel here from Singapore, now I live in Singapore, and if I gonna go to any store and I cannot use Singapore dollar even, I have to change to Japanese yen first. But I imagine the world that you don't have to think about currency or any asset you want to use or spend. And the merchant doesn't have to think about it too. They just accept anything that they want. And for, for the user, they can just travel anywhere, spend any currency, anything that they want at any store that they need to. So I think that's really the idea behind it. That's why we start um, the company 10X. And that's lead into what we did last year, which is the ICO. So I think for anyone that kind of new to ICO is one of the way that you can engage with um, community, a lot of customer, and then you can raise your capital to, to build things that you really need to or to build the business that, that you plan to. And this has probably happened quite 
in 2015, and then it's getting quite big on 2017. And I think it's still here, it's, it's still happening a lot. And I think Japan is probably going to regulate a lot of, of this area, but I think it's really great area to, to actually looking at. And for regulation wise, I think it's really, really good to, to put things in place and people can start innovate and start getting capital that they need to build the company. Right, so, so we did it in June 24th in, in, in that day and then we successfully did that. But I think this is really, really small thing. But what I want to share with you is what we actually did learn from, from doing this. So it's really a, a three thing that we think is really important for, for if you're gonna build the company or if you're gonna do ICO or actually any, anything that you want to do in business. The first thing is, I think if you, as an entrepreneur, as a, a tech entrepreneur, I think the technology is really important. If you have a, a good technology or if you have a really interesting technology that could solve, potentially solve a lot of problem, of course, you need a really good team. And I think I couldn't stress it enough that the team is really important. I, I think the, the entrepreneur, you, you always has really strengths in some area and you always has weakness in another area and you just need to find a partner or your team that kind of complete the whole system, right? And also, also the, the last thing is something that you can really control, which is timing. But the best way to control timing is actually getting ready. Just be always ready, right? Um, I just want to touch a bit on, on technology. So from our side, I think one of the, the technology that I personally, one of the things that I think it personally helped this is what we call Comet. So the idea of Comet is, you know, there's a, there's a lot of blockchain in the world today, probably more than a thousand blockchains from a private one that banks build or from the, the open blockchain one that is such as Bitcoin. And they all work perfectly in their own system, right? It's just like the internet. Um, it's just like computer. If you, the idea is we have a lot of computers, a lot of network in university, in banks, in, in many ways. But if you actually connect all the computers together, you get really a bigger network is called the internet, right? And I think the idea is the same thing. Now we have thousands of blockchain in, you just need to connect it to a bigger of network where you can talk between blockchain where one blockchain can do really good thing on one thing, for example, a smart contract or, or those things. And then you, another thing that you can hold value or those type of things. And when you connect it to a bigger network, then the really, really interesting technology and really interesting thing is coming out of this. And so that is Comet, what we, what we built so far in, in our R&D. And of course, um, I want to talk about the team. Um, this is one of the examples of what we try to build as the culture. I think company is really something, what you call organization is the company, is all people in the company interacting with each other. And the, the people in the company that actually the one who who build products, who build services for the users, right? And the really important thing is you just have to take care of people in the company, the culture that gonna translate into the product and services later down the line. So this is one of the, the example of our core values. Um, it's as a living thing, it keep changing all the time and, and we just have to keep update um, based on the size of the company, based on where you want um, people to go. So, and one of the really interesting thing is for the team, recruiting is really interesting. Um, the, the new people or the people who get in into the company is always influence the company in many, many ways. So something that you have to put a lot of energy into it. And the last thing is timing. It's one of the factor that you cannot really control it, but you know, um, like when is the market gonna be ready? You don't know, um, technology, it always, always better to go into technology in the, 
the, the early stage of the technology, so I say. So then you get familiar with it, you get used to it, and then you build something on that technology before the market is ready, right? And as I say, you cannot really time the market or anything, but the one factor that you can influence is, is you, yourself, and the company. If the company is getting ready always, when the market timing is come, when the technology is right, you can do a really successful thing. And that is kind of lead into, I just want to share the story, how we came into this point into today. So um, in Japan, about 2011, 2012, I, I started around three, four companies before, and all fail, right? But I think I did learn quite a lot. So at that time, I moved to, to Bangkok. And we, we, we into this blockchain Bitcoin for a while since 2011. We want to do something with Bitcoin technology, but we just don't think the market is ready yet. Um, so one afternoon, we just sit there and then we're just thinking we, we want to do something with this technology and we want to start it. Right? So again, when you just fail four companies before, um, where, where and how you can want to start. So we went to Singapore. We just flew there for, um, for a hackathon, right? And the, the funny thing is we went, we were supposed to go to another hackathon, but they don't let us in. So we just, um, we just have to go into this hackathon instead. But it's kind of lucky because it's, um, it's for MasterCard, so it's something that we already want to do. We already want to explore the idea. We want to build a wallet, right? So, and then um, this is a picture where, where we pitched to the judge. So we built a wallet and then we pitched to the judge. Um, we didn't win because we didn't pay attention enough to what the theme was. So the theme was empowering the woman. So, um, so obviously we're not gonna win, but, um, but we got something out of it. We got an app that we showed to the judge, we showed to the people there that this kind of validate our idea that, hey, um, connecting this kind of new kind of money to normal world is kind of makes sense. And there's quite a lot of people who hold this currency that actually want to use it in a really convenient way. So we started it, but then, um, so the backstory is we flew to, um, to Singapore and we think we want to do this, but I think we flew in with around $300 for two people, right? So I don't think it's not going to work for end of the month, something like that. Um, but I think we max out a lot of credit cards and stuff just to survive. And we went to another hackathon and this time we won it. So, and then we got some capital to actually start. And then we decided to move to Singapore and to start a new company. So this is one of the place that, that we move in. I think it's around three people, right? And then it's not that big. Um, I mean, it's quite big if you compare to um, Tokyo apartment. <laughs> but we, we'd be there, uh, two people, maybe three people of the, most of the time, and then it's quite cram in there, but we kind of get through it. Um, it's a lot of, well, when you try to build something new that you don't know, it's kind of take quite a lot of time to do it. And then we kind of get our first card that we wanted to do, the first thing that actually working, that you can actually walk into the store and then you can swipe the card or you can put it in the machine and then you can pay for food or, um, or coffee. And then it actually use a cryptocurrency to pay for that. Um, the funny thing is, this is like really sketchy card. So when you walk into the store, the store always asks like, what is this? Is it actually working? But then once you swipe or once you put it in, it, it actually works. So um, that's one, one of the things that um, we, uh, it's like a really first experience when you use the card and then it actually works. It's really, really wonderful. Um, so fast forward a little bit, we get, the first one it actually printed that it looks proper where you can walk into the store and it actually works and then you can actually show it around. 
right? So that is one of the really major milestones from, from the idea into struggling to do something and actually have something on, on the market. And actually, um, it's quite powerful when you can hold something on your hand and then it works. And then it, it lead into um, our early last year, we did a first round of our seed funding. And um, a lot of success is leading into we have a product, we, it actually working, we test with the users. And I think this is probably the really, the best way that I can keep advice. If you want to build something, just build it until it works. And I think a lot of, you can prove a lot to yourself and a lot of to investor, right? And then this is actually lead into um, the ICO later last year that, that we did. So we actually really, move from two, three people in probably not even a garage, like a, a bedroom, into a little bit bigger space today as a, our office is. Um, our main office is in Singapore. We, have, we grew from two, three people, eight people at the ICO into now about 50, 52 people. Um, it's quite a, been quite a journey, but I think at the point I want to share is you really don't know when is the right timing for the market. You don't really know when is the right timing for the technology that you want to use or you're using. But what you actually can do is you can always get yourself ready and just start building. And I think the time would, would always come, whether you, you try something new technology or, or you want to build something new. Just have to get yourself ready. In, Actually, what actually happened after we, we raised this kind of capital, right? And what should you focusing on or what should you care? I think it's three things that any companies and actually, especially in the blockchain space that you really, really need to care. First is you have to care about your product. And second is the community. It's something is really unique when you, you raise funds this way, or you raise capital this way, you, you kind of build a lot of communities around yourself that people that kind of believe in what you're doing and all people who want to support you on what you're doing. And of course, the company that itself that you have to really, really take care of. So the product is really easy. You just need to deliver. You just need to ship your product to the market. So p actually, people can actually use it and you can, you get can get a lot of feedbacks, right? That's one thing you have to take care of. The second thing is, it's a lot of communication, community. It's almost running a, a public company. You have a lot of public that you have to take care of. And for example, Twitter is one of the, the thing that we inform a lot of, of our user, what's going on to the company, good things, bad things, we always communicate. Um, you need to do a lot of Meetup. Meetup is a lot of really good way that you can meet people face to face. And I think it's really great way that you want to touch on people's life and then you can interact with people face to face and it's really valuable feedback or you can actually feel what the market or what the people actually feel about the company and the product. And another thing that not a lot of people mention is you can do a lot of user testing. We, you, you, a lot of users just want to use the product and want to contribute, right? Because you, uh, people kind of like the way or believe in what, what the company is doing. So this is really interesting thing. If you're thinking of starting something or starting company to do this, it's a lot of really fast feedback group. And again, I just want to touch on the, the company or the team that you're building. It's really the people is actually the one who built the product and the one who actually built the company. So you really, really have to take care, a really good care of people, all the communication, all the, the wellness and all the, the happiness of the people in the company is really reflecting into the product that you built. And at the end of the day, um, I just want to get back to why? I think the why is the most important thing, why you build the business, why you start the company in itself. And for us, it's really interesting thing is, 
if you look at money, you have this so-called, I would say normal money. It's the bank note in your, in your pocket, it's a coin. It even um, numbers in your bank account. But I think this is kind of the normal money that it's secure, it's always there and it's just there. But nothing really changed about that. But this one thing new, it's called new money. It's actually the money that you can program it. it it's quite smart and a lot of people developing on it. And it get, actually get better every day, right? And this money is on blockchain or it's called cryptocurrencies that a lot of people improve the protocol itself almost every day. And a lot of people build on application layers that you can use it in the new ways almost every day. So I think this is the thing that we call new money. And it's really exciting for us because if you imagine a few years back when we still use SMS and then it costs you a few cents to, to send it around, right? Compared to today where you have live WhatsApp or any messenger, it's free for you to use and it changed the, the way people interact with each other. And I see the same thing happen to the money where when you send money to each other, it's not cost you $5 or even a few cents anymore. It, it should be free. The money where you should be sending, you, can, you should be using the money the way you can use text messages, video, picture. And I think we, we're moving toward that world. And our company mission is to actually get people to use more cryptocurrency and to experience this kind of new, new world, new kind of money. So um, our company has a book called really cryptocurrency. It's really for basic cryptocurrency. Um, a few weeks ago, we, we met with Elon Musk and we actually gave it to him. So I have a few copies um, behind. So you, um, you can come to me later if you're interested in this and really the one thing we really want to do, we want people to experience cryptocurrency, use it, test it, or even try it at the point. So thank you so much for your attention. Thank you.